Welcome. In front of me is a Microsoft Surface uh, or is it Surface Go 2 and today I'll go over the setup of this device so if you don't know how to do it you can follow this. So anyway when you boot it up for the first time what I recommend you to do is mute Cortana because she's absolutely annoying and then simply find your desired language from the list. Now for me this might be a little bit more difficult because as you can see uh, the screen just doesn't work too well. Uh, it constantly clicks the display so um, I'm gonna be using just the trackpad of a little bit of the screen on the keyboard. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit easier. So anyway, I will be sticking with, let's say, United Kingdom. Let's go to the next page. I'm actually gonna zoom in the display just so you can see it a little bit better. There's basically no keyboard need uh, actually for you to see, so yeah. Okay, there we go. It's taking a little bit more uh, view. Oops, I just pressed next, so I'm gonna go back. So here we have, this is the uh, right keyboard layout. Yeah, it's right. I don't have one to add. Second keyboard, obviously this is up to you. If you, for instance, use, like me, uh, two different languages, uh, you might want to add another keyboard. I, for instance, use Polish and, uh, and English, so I would normally add one, but just for the simplicity of this one, I'm gonna skip it. But if you want to, again, select Add and then choose the keyboard that you want to add. Uh, let's connect to your uh, network. And obviously you can connect to network or let's see if we can actually skip it. There are certain cases where you might not be able to connect to it. So I want to see if there is an option around it. Continue with limited setup. So I assume with limited setup, they mean that you won't be able to log into their Microsoft account uh, throughout the setup of Windows, which in, in this case is completely fine for me. Windows 10 license agreement. Uh, obviously you need to select agree or accept in this case. You can read this, this little nice poke read right here. And from there, yeah, just select accept. Who's going to use this PC? Joe. I created a sub uh, Do I need to set up a password? Let's see. What happens if I select next? Oh, look at that. I don't actually need to set up a password. So that's great. So if you don't want it, just skip it. Leave it empty. And that's about it. Now, just a moment, I'm not exactly really sure what it's doing right now. Oh, there we go. At Microsoft and apps use your location. Obviously, this is completely up to you if you want uh, apps to have access to where you're located at. I personally don't like it, so I'm gonna select no. Though, just as a little uh, explanation, this does have sometimes uh, good use uh, scenarios. Uh, as an example, if you're ordering food from like uh, applications that can open up on your computer or just uh, websites, websites will automatically detect where you live and then show you as an example restaurants that are in that area. So you don't actually have to type in your address. But obviously for people that prefer privacy, probably having a no is a better option. Find my device, uh, that's something up to you. I can select uh, to have it on or off. Obviously if you lose your device, you can then track it. Uh, send diagnostic data to Microsoft. Uh, again, it's up to you. Uh, what they call diagnostic data is also probably not very defined here, so... So it looks like we have two options here. Uh, not just don't send. Both of them will send it. Just one says send requested and optional diagnostic data, while this one just uh, sends requested diagnostic data. Um, so yeah, uh, there's no way for you to not send anything to Microsoft, which, uh, jolly old goodness, uh, what a nice scam. Uh, improve inking and typing. Uh, so this is, I believe, for like when you have a pencil, so you can use it on the display. I do not have that. Let me actually make sure. Uh, choose your settings. It's, uh, accept. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to keep it at now. 
Okay, let's go to the next page. Uh, get tailored experience with di diagnostic data. Boy, they really try to hide what they're trying to do here. Um, tailored experience. Let's see, choose your settings and select accept. Uh, doesn't really say anything. I'll learn more, okay, great. Uh, Microsoft defaults. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm kind of guessing at, at this, but um, basically what it means is uh, using my browsing data and stuff like that, that we gather even if you don't want it because uh, you had no option to disable it to give you basically ads associated with your search interests, uh, similar to probably what uh, you do on or what it's done on Android. So yeah, I'm gonna select no. And I could be wrong about this though. Keep that in mind. You probably need to select learn more to actually get the exact like uh, 20 page spreadsheet of what it's actually doing. Now we have uh, let apps uh, use advan uh, advertising ID. Uh, okay, I'm gonna select no, just generally advertising doesn't really suit what I want on my device. So yeah. Uh, let Cortana help you get things done. Uh, obviously, if you want to have that enabled, go right ahead. Though, by enabling this, you will also need to go through the, uh, I would say, brief setup where Windows gives you a couple of phrases that you need to read so it learns your voice in a way and how you pronounce words. And I'll be selecting that now. I never use Cortana. I don't really have use for it, so I don't want it. But if you like it, yeah, then go right ahead. And as you can see, setup is now finished and you can start using your Windows. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.